What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. Once again, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we kind of just had a, a sort of mess around day. You know, we were just having a real day of it and, uh, and going around flying all over the place. It was awesome. And I know a lot of people probably hated the fact that I was actually enjoying myself while playing this game. So today, we're going to continue things on a more serious note and uh, try to get back in the swing of things. So to start things off, in the previous episode as well, we realized, actually, I don't know if that was the previous or the one prior to that, but nonetheless, we realized that we don't have the correct exhaust pipe, I guess you could say, because it's it's not from cat, because there's no, there's no cat. Let's pop open the hood here so I can kind of show you guys rather than trying to describe it. But if we go down underneath, you guys will notice we have our exhaust muffler here and then the exhaust pipe leading up to sort of where the downpipe would connect to the exhaust headers, right? Well, we switched out to a higher performance exhaust header and that kind of rendered our existing exhaust useless. So we're, we're basically just straight dumping right out the headers at the moment. So the first thing I wanna do is of course, get the, uh, the new exhaust system that will properly bolt up to these new headers. And then we'll actually be able to utilize the twin carburetor setup that we have. So let's open up this parts catalog, dude. I kind of want the rear window louvers. I'm pretty sure that's pronounced louvers. Correct me if I'm wrong, somebody probably will, but those look very, very sick. Also, there's a spoiler and, and a hood with a hood scoop. It It's all very cool. It's all very cool looking. We don't have a whole lot of money right now, even though we turned our life to a life of crime and made a, a pretty, pretty good living, I would say. Is that a boost gauge? No, that's a, that's a uh, another tack. Okay, here we go. This is the page we wanted. So four hundred and twenty nine dollars for the Paco Putki Peltisarholi exhaust. We definitely need that. I don't know if we need the exhaust tip. I suppose we probably do because at this point. I'm pretty sure that would come down to our muffler. Let's take another quick look at this thing. Yeah, so we have the main exhaust pipe here. Honestly, it looks the same. I, I can't imagine it's gonna be very different. I suppose it'll be different length up here at the at the front of it, but right here would probably be where that red muffler would go, or maybe it's just a tip. So I think we need that for sure. Let's add that to our little total over here and then probably the exhaust. A lot of you have been telling me as well to buy the upgraded radiator. So we might even do that. Let's just add that to the cart. I, I don't know if we're gonna have enough money to buy all three of these things, but we're definitely gonna try. This is good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that stuff. So we'll throw that envelope in our backpack. And now, thanks to all of you guys, I have a pretty good lead on a turbo. Yes, you heard that right, a turbo for the Satsuma. We've had the turbo badge on the back of this thing for so incredibly long now, like since episode two, maybe three, and we have yet to get a turbo in this bad boy Billy. That's mainly because they're extremely expensive, but you guys informed me that there's actually one we can find pretty close to Fleetari. So I think we're gonna head that way and we'll see what we uncover. Oh wait, where'd our Joe bro go? Joe bro bro. Here we go. We left it by the dock, I guess. Our boat is also still gone. Um, I might even try to just reset that with the MSC editor, potentially, because I, I have no idea what we're supposed to do now that our boat is just vanished into thin air. So all I've been told is that, oh, that was kind of a weird patch in the road. All I've been told is that it's near a barn, I guess you could call it, or like a shed of sorts. So I'm going to try this shed here. It's it's on the way to Fleetari. It's definitely not that close by, but I figure we just stop in here, take a peek real quick. All right. Can we even open these doors? No, we can't. And there's nothing inside. Amazing. Okay. Wasted trip so far, but you know what? We're going to stay in good spirits about this because why would the internet lie to me? <laughs> You know, not seeing any sheds out here. There is that whole thing. Okay, I can't really do this while driving. There is this whole place here, but I remember looking through that uh, off camera and I, I don't think I saw anything there. Might be worth checking out again, I suppose. So this is Fleetari's. It's certainly not past it. Is it this building here? No, that's not really a shed. Oh, there's a shed back here. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, we're gonna head down this hill then. This thing looks kind of beat up though. 
And there's a little dock down here too, dude. We could have taken the- Oh, Jesus Christ! Was that a person? Where did you come from? <laughs> Where did- He just like popped into frame as I'm going through the, the bushes there. Yikes, that was a little spooky. Okay, but there's a dock here. As I was about to say, is we could probably take the boat had the boat not disappeared. So if I were some turbo stuff, where would I be? I guess I was instructed that it was maybe in the shed. So let's check inside the shed first. That's probably gotta be, oh no, they're right here. Okay. Yeah, that was easy. Looks brand new. It says GT turbocharger, GT turbocharger exhaust inlet tube. Okay. GT turbo exhaust outlet tube. Gotcha. And then GT turbo manifold twin carb tube. Oh no. Wait, no, we already have the twin carb. Okay, so we're good. We're already ahead of the game. That's that's lovely. I'm assuming we're gonna need like an intercooler. I don't see an intercooler here. Maybe an air filter as well. But we are definitely taking this stuff home with us, dude. For sure. There's four more GT parts that I didn't even know existed until today. Well, all right. I didn't actually look in the rest of the shed. I don't think those doors opened. The other ones didn't, so. I think we're probably okay, but that's pretty sick, dude. Got some new GT parts. Our Satsuma is probably going to be looking a lot like a GT Satsuma here before too long. We have just about everything except for, oh, the paint job. After we installed these. Hello, friend. I just saw him on the map. What's going on, my dude? He just drives around all the time, but we should have everything else. I'm going to head into Fleetari. Well, forgot the kickstand. I'm gonna head into Flitari quick, just to make sure that he doesn't have anything else for us. Let's check out his shop catalog. Okay, so here's the Donnertech Racing Turbocharger. I don't think we need anything from the ECU section just yet, but he will repair the GT Turbocharger for 2,500 marks. Why did nobody tell me that the turbo was broken? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking we could just use this thing right away. Okay, not a huge deal, but there is a turbocharger exhaust header, which I don't believe we have currently. We'll probably need a new intake manifold as well. I would think there's the intercooler. 3,500 marks, dude. Holy crap. Okay, so I'm probably not even gonna purchase that much here. We might even just do the GT turbo air filter and then the GT turbo intercooler tube. Add to cart. GT Turbo Air Filter, add to cart. That's already 1,300 marks. And then Twin Carb Manifold Kit, I think, because the Weber Manifold, I believe, goes to the much larger racing turbocharger, which we absolutely don't have the, uh, the right amount of money for. So let's add in the Twin Carb Manifold Kit. That's 32, that's 3,200 marks right there, dude. Not to mention all the other stuff that we may potentially need, like the, the intercooler. I don't know if that manifold is the intercooler or if that's the intake manifold replacement. Well, it can't be the intake manifold replacement because the intake manifold currently is mounted up to the twin carburetor. So that almost has to be the intercooler and not a manifold. Am I, am I right or am I wrong? I'm probably wrong. I'm just gonna, just gonna Google this really quick. Don't worry about it. Okay, well, I am not finding any useful information on this. So I'm going to probably not purchase any of these items because we still need to pay for the envelope that we have already in our possession. But I will let you guys inform me on how we're properly supposed to assemble this whole kit. Hopefully someone in the comments has some useful info because the, the rest of the internet definitely didn't. So with that being said, we are going to hop back on our Joe Bro here, and we're actually gonna go to Quavo's shop so we can drop off this here envelope. God, dude, why is the freaking kickstand always so hard to, to use? No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. Kickstand, there it is. All right, <laughs> we're golden. Okay, so this envelope, right. That's what we came here for. Let's drop that on the ground, close our backpack up, crouch down to her. And then all we need to do is put it in this little slot, dude. We've done this before a handful of times. Come on. There we go. Okay. The deed is done. And then we don't have to pay for that just yet. Oh. Good day. What brings you to the city? Well, you know, it's funny that you mentioned that because I was actually maybe potentially looking for a job because we need quite a bit more money. 
Believe it or not. Hey, you, I have the perfect job for you. If you're interested, just take these adverts and drop one to every mailbox. I will pay you well. I do want to do this job, but I don't know how many mailboxes I actually need to stop at. So before I say yes, Quavo, I'm going to have to do some Googling. Okay, hopefully you understand. A total of 28 mailboxes where the player can drop off advertisements can be found across Aliviska. Got that pronunciation on lock. Uh, there are only 14 places that the player must go as some of the mailboxes can be found in groups. Oh, okay, so it's, it's not that bad. Dang, dude. All right, well, I think I'm up for the task. Looks like we're gonna be rewarded somewhere Hopefully north of $700 is, is what I just read, but we'll find out. So do we just take the whole pile then? We must. Yeah, let's just throw that in our backpack. All right, Quavo, we got you, my dude. We freaking got you. We're going to hop on the Joe Bro, go around to every mailbox that we can. I have a list pulled up, so hopefully this goes fairly smoothly. All right, Joe Bro, it's just you and me now. I see a group of mailboxes over here, so I think that's the first group we're going to hit. And it doesn't say anything about like specific color of mailboxes or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go through the names on these and uh, we'll see what we have to have to do here. What is this, the graveyard? This must be the graveyard. Okay, so all five of these mailboxes have to be filled with advertisements. Let's open up our backpack. The Quavo advert pile, we're gonna drop that on the ground. And then we just need to pick up a, sh pick up a, sh Pick up a single sheet, Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, buddy, how's it going? And then these just have to get dropped. One in there, got that. Wow, this is gonna be a very slow process. There's the second one, and the third. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. I didn't think it was gonna be this challenging. It's only challenging because I made it challenging for myself by placing these things on the ground. Crouching and just like using the backpack is, it's kind of weird, it's kind of weird. All right, that should be all five of those done though now. That's all it says, five mailboxes here, so on to the next. One could say that we are the strongest, most muscular paper boy anyone in this side of town has ever seen. <laughs> we have one single mailbox here. I don't know if this one's a requirement, but I'm probably gonna drop one. Oh, and there's our cousin just cruising through town. Jesus Christ, he's gonna take someone out. Okay, picked up a sheet, and we're dropping, there we go. And then it looks like just south of here, I think, if this is south anyways. Why have we never been over here before, dude? This is actually really cool. We got like a, a bunch of little apartments here. All right, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait, 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 some of them are blank. So one, two, three, four, four more mailboxes. We are also very thirsty, so I'm, Probably gonna try to use someone's uh, well water to, to take a drink. Let's try to do this one a little bit smarter. I'm gonna place those. Okay, no, that's not, that's not gonna work. Dang it. Okay, so one right there, two, three, and four. There we go. Hey, how's it going, my guy? Wait, are you? No, you're not. You just look like everyone else to me. Never mind. Okay, so we've done all three of them in. Bediyarvi. Many, many more to go. I'm gonna save you guys the trouble. I'll just see you when we're finished, you know, putting all these things in people's mailboxes and stuff. Many, many minutes later. Okay, I think that's all of them. I just pulled back up to Quavo's shop and it looks like the street racers are back at it again. So that's just great to see, fan. Freaking tastic. Quavo, what's going on? What that is? McCockiner? That's me! That's me, you know, Barry McCockner. <laughs> oh, come on, 600 bucks? I was told this was gonna be at least seven, so I don't really know what's going on there. Oh, what's going on out here, though? So are you participating in the rally, he started to say? Yeah, they're just, they're having some, some issues out there. All right, well. Well, well, I think we have found a future job for you. Good price for a good job. I don't know if that was a, the best price, per se, but it'll do. I've also been told that maybe we should buy some sugar and yeast and, uh, and juice. All right, y'all just need to, you need to chill. Can you, can you do that for me? Can you chill, please? Oh my god. No, but they're supposed to be, oh yeah, here we go, juice concentrate. So we should probably buy all of those, and then we drink those, we use the sugar and the yeast to make 
booze. Apparently, that's what the bucket is for that we found on that island, so... We may have to do that at some point. I feel like that would be a good moneymaker as well. But for right now, we've made a, a decent... Jesus, turn it down! We've made a decent amount of money just delivering those adverts for Quavo, so... I'm feeling good. You know, we're up to 5100 bucks again. Not doing too shabby. Now we just have to wait around until Quavo has those parts in that we ordered. What she got for me, dog? What she got for me? 1800 bucks? That's actually not that bad. That's really not that bad. Hey to the dishes and dishes to the dishwasher? What the heck does that mean? You on something today, Quavo. All right, pay post order. 1800 bucks. Thank you very much. Hey, you have the perfect job for you if you're interested. Yay! I don't think we're going to do that again. Not for a while anyways. But back over here on the side of his shop, we now have some packages, which is good news. So let's see. This one is the radiator, maybe? Yeah, dude, look at those fans. It's got E-fans, too. That's pretty sick. All right, and then this one. Wait for it. Boom. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's... It's right there. <gasps> Woo! I had like a mini heart attack right there. I was like, wait, where's the main exhaust? The main thing we wanted from this whole ordeal. And there she is right there, racing exhaust. So I know this is pretty unrealistic, but we're gonna throw this big hunk of metal in our backpack, as well as the radiator here and this racing muffler. Perfect. All right, now let's head home and uh, hopefully we can get this stuff installed by the end of the day. It is getting pretty dark pretty quickly though. Back at home, let's figure out how we uh, how we go about doing this, huh? This should be pretty interesting. So first we have to remove the existing exhaust, which I believe only has hangers in the midsection and then in the rear. Or maybe just in the rear. Oh my God, is it just this one bolt? That's all that's holding it up. All right, a seven mil there. And then back here, I think same thing, probably another seven, perfect. There we go. That was pretty easy. The only hard part about this, I think, is really just gonna be where do we place all of our stock components? Because I feel like we may need them in the future, so I definitely don't wanna just throw them out. But then we had one seven mil here, and that should be the muffler. This thing's pretty rusty and crusty as well. We'll drop this right on over here. Okay, and now for the moment we've all been waiting for, or Maybe just me. Let's put down the racing exhaust, the racing radiator, and the racing muffler, dude. We're getting full race spec out here. I'm really excited about the radiator. I honestly, the only reason that we bought this exhaust is so that it would look right and also sound right. Because, uh, again, it was kind of just dumping at, uh, at the headers, which is not at all what you want. And then the exhaust looks like we can just bolt it up right there. Should be another 7 mil. There we go, that's fully fastened. God, that thing's shiny and new, dude. And then up here, we have two seven mils. That's gonna attach directly to our exhaust header up there. Come back outside, grab our racing muffler. Dude, this thing is going to haul absolute balls now. I'm so excited for that. That's gonna go there, and it looks like we don't have to secure anything to where the muffler actually meets the tailpipe. But up in here somewhere, there should be another bolt. Come on. Oh, right there. Perfect. Oh, man. I hate the red. I absolutely hate the red exhaust tip. I think that looks super tacky and gross, but we're just going to have to live with it, I think. And now for the racing radiator. We could probably remove the hood to make this a little simpler as well. What is that, a six? All right, we got the hood in our backpack on accident. We're just going to drop that down right there. And now we can look into how to remove this radiator, I want to say there's a couple of bolts to it, but for the most part, I think it's really just held on with uh, hose clamps. And I stand corrected. There are actually four size seven bolts that are holding the radiator on. All right, we should be good to remove it now, I would think. I've got all four of those bolts unfastened. Let's go ahead and pop off this radiator hose there. And then this one, we have one more hose clamp to unscrew. Now we can remove this one. Okay, and finally, the factory radiator is coming out and I've connected a tow rope somehow amazing, but just like compare these two right This thing massive absolutely huge enormous and then this thing is rusty and 
and disgusting looking. It's got a bunch of bent fins in it. It's not going to cool much of anything. But this thing, on the other hand, dude, that's going to pull in a lot of air, especially with the GT grill. Should be good. Now let's get this new one fitted up. Oh, look at that. It even has like a stencil drawn on the front that says RPM. That's pretty dope. Okay, and this one actually mounts more center than the other one did as well, so it should allow more air to flow into it that way. Let's switch back to our 7 mil. We'll get this thing bolted up. Now with that done, if we just grab these hoses and try to get them in roughly the proper orientation, they should just sort of snap in. All right, lower radiator hose, good to go. Now all we have left is the upper hose here, and that goes just on the outside of this thermostat housing, roughly in this position, perfect. Tighten up that screw here and the one that touches the radiator. And we are just about done, dude. All we have to do now is unscrew the radiator cap, fill it with some fluids. We could pee in it, but I'm not going to do that. We have a ton of coolant left over still. We might as well, uh, you know, put it to good use. I'm really hoping that dude with the uh, with the lumber or the, the guy that wants all that firewood calls us again because that was pretty good paying and it really didn't take all that long because we have 50 available slots in our backpack. If you guys missed that episode, make sure you go back and watch it. Link to the series playlist is always in the description if you're at all curious. But just like that, dude, let's throw the radiator cap back on this bad boy, Billy, and we will get her fired up. Oh, we do have to put the hood on still, but <laughs> I think it's more important we uh, at least get it up to operating temperature first. We got to pull the choke out. There we go. Try her again. Come on, baby. Come on. I know it's been a minute. There you go. Oh, she loves it. Now we can throw our hood back on. Dude, it sounds good. It sounds good again. All right. The hood has been reinstalled. I don't see the radiator fans kicking on just yet. And that makes me a little nervous because I know we only ran one lead for the one fan. But it kind of looks like that one lead on this radiator actually splits into two. So we should be okay. We don't need to wire up that other fan. But I do want to make sure that those radiator fans actually kick on before we take off. So let's go ahead and back the thing out. Okay, it looks like we're about to operating temp now. So let's go ahead and depress the choke. And we'll see what happens. No severe backfires. Everything seems in working order. Oh my god, dude, it sounds so much better. You guys remember when it was just dumping out the header? It sounded horrible. Let's take her out for a rip, bud. We are out for a freaking rip. We're gonna upshift to second. And we're out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We are not out, not yet. Kind of forgot a very important thing, and that is our seat belt. I don't ever fasten that. I'm trying to make sure I uh, I do that on the regular now. And I do still think our alignment is a little bit out of whack since our uh, our crashes, our multiple rollovers that we've had without dying and not wearing a seatbelt. I was honestly really impressed. Okay, let's keep it on the road. Keep it on the road. But it seems way faster now, dude. It seems like it's really got some pep in her step. I want to take this out to the main road so we can really get on it too. We'll see. I mean, it, it's kind of a ways away, but we'll see if we still have a little bit of daylight by the time we get out that way. God, dude, this thing is a real ripper. It just gets faster and faster the more stuff we add to it. And it looks like our temps are actually holding steady at operating temp, which is right in the middle of that gauge there on the cluster. Woo! Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Full rollover on that one. Everything is completely fine. And on that note, we are turning around, boys. <laughs> we are turning around. I'm not trying to die today. I'm certainly not trying to wreck our uh, our now running, now properly running Satsuma. So I think that's probably where we're going to wind things down at for today. Once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, to help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.